talk about how to do some equilibrium calculations. So there's two basic types of calculations that we're going to do. The first is if we know what the equilibrium concentrations are, we can calculate the value of the equilibrium constant expression of K, Kc. So for example, let's say we're given this equilibrium reaction, bromine plus chlorine in equilibrium with two bromine monochlorides, and we know that the equilibrium concentrations are these. Bromine is 0.12 molar, chlorine is 0.23 molar, and bromine monochloride is 0.37 molar. We want to calculate the, the K for this, the equilibrium constant. So what we're going to do is write down the expression and plug these values in. So first of all, writing down the expression, which we already know how to do, it's products over reactants raised to the powers of their coefficients. So bromine monochloride on the top raised to the second power, and bromine and chlorine on the bottom both to the first power. So we plug in those concentrations, bromine monochloride 0.37, 0.12 for bromine and 0.23 for chlorine. Put these into our calculator, and because we're multiplying and dividing and everything has two sig figs, we keep two sig figs. So I get 4.96, and we're going to round that to two sig figs because of the values here, to 5.0. Now, a word about units. Don't worry about them. For once, we don't have to worry about units. It ends up they work out each equilibrium constant can have different units depending upon the equation that's describing, we're just not going to use units. We j just, just remember that the concentrations are molar, molarity, and we're going to not going to write any units for our K. And that'll work out really well. So the other kind of calculation that we can do is if we know the value of the equilibrium constant, but we don't know the value of the equilibrium concentration of one of the species in the reaction, we can calculate it. So here's what we do. Let's say we have this equilibrium reaction, iron two oxide reacting with carbon monoxide to make iron and carbon dioxide. And we know that the equilibrium concentration of carbon dioxide is 0.59 molar, and the value for K, the equilibrium constant, is 0.26. Remember, we're not worrying about units for Ks. And we want to know the value of the equilibrium concentration for carbon monoxide, this stuff right here. So the first thing we do is we write down the equilibrium constant expression. Expression, K is equal to the products of a reactants. Now remember, solids and liquids, we don't write. We just ignore them. So the only things here that aren't solid are carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, products over reactants. In this case, both coefficients are 1, so the powers are 1. And we know the concentration of carbon dioxide, 0.59 molar, so we plug it in. The one we don't know, we just call it x. Now do a little bit of algebra, cross multiply so that x comes up top, the 0.26 comes in the bottom, and put this into our calculator and we get the answer. We see that for this reaction with this equilibrium constant, if the equilibrium of the concentration of carbon dioxide is 0.59 molar, then the equilibrium concentration of carbon monoxide will be 2.3 molar. And that's how you do it. So this is the equilibrium concentration of carbon monoxide.